here we go. Alright, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about some of the hot fixes they've slid into season of discovery over the last couple of days and uh talking about what all they've changed so if you like this kind of content be sure to leave me a like comment subscribe all that fun jazz we're just gonna jump right into it all right uh healing rain will no longer interrupt auto attack swing time around you know what i'm not even gonna go over a lot of these like living flame will now cease to spread and deal damage if the mage caster no longer has the rune equipped i mean yeah i think someone was exploiting there however there are quite a few on the mage that we need to talk about regeneration and mass regeneration will now properly consume arcane blast when they benefit from it regardless of the mage's healing targets so yeah they have changed arcane blast to now include in the tooltip uh it can be consumed by any other arcane damage or healing spell that is cast so that's new um that's definitely di different also uh mage's temporal beacon will now also heal based on damage done by arcane wands so now you have something you can do once you go out of mana or just you know trying to conserve mana and get a little bit to regenerate during a fight during a longer fight you can now use your wand and it will heal a little bit i don't think it's going to be terribly effective but it helps Here's one that really needed to happen. The radius of healing for mass regeneration has been increased to 30 yards. So they doubled the range on that. That's great. Uh, here's a problem I was having with the new Ashenvale PvP event. The Priestess of the Moon and the Farseer that you turn in the marks to for that quest are now available in the inn in Astronar for the Priestess of the Moon and the Farseer can be found in the inn in Splinter, T Splinter Tree Post in between battles. So you can turn those quests in now without the battle actually being active which really does help a good bit because that was really annoying to have to break off from the group and go turn that in during a battle it was super annoying okay so they had a bug fix with that battle as well um then that was all for today that they or for the 14th that they released I uh, thought that some of those were some really good changes, but here's uh, here's a couple runes sold at the honored tier for the new factions that were required honored and now require friendly. So that's great. Uh, Waylaid supplies have been slightly raised for the drop rate. The gold prices of several runes and rune-related items have been reduced. Blah, blah, blah. That's great. And then they did a couple of bug fixes on Lorgus Jet Encounter and the Kelris, Twilight Lord Kelris fight. Uh, this one actually did... Actually, both of these bugs happened to me specifically, so I did see those. Uh, but I really wanted to go over the mage changes uh i don't think it's going to be quite enough for the mage to be you know really good right now but it, it's definitely a step in the right direction but that's all i wanted to go over um yeah uh that's all the changes i've seen that they've put in recently and uh just wanted to share them with you 
be sure to leave me a like comment subscribe tell me what you think about the changes and i'll see you in the next one